Creating a stable, full-time income for yourself with print on demand doesn't have to be difficult. I'm going to share 101 profitable evergreen niches with you, which will massively help you in reaching your goals. So you might wonder, how should I use these niches? First of all, you're going to want to research these further on Amazon and other marketplaces. While you're doing this, look out for sub-niches and for cross-niching opportunities. Come up with about 20 to 30 creative, and unique designs for every niche. Don't just copy other people's designs and make sure to always check for trademarks. Then go ahead and upload these designs to various different print on demand marketplaces. This is literally what I did for the first two years of my print on demand journey and you can use this strategy as well. Whilst not every niche you're going to upload will get you sales, if you stay patient and consistent, your monthly income will steadily grow with time. Because I want to give you as much value as possible and to break this long video up a bit I will slot in some quick intermissions after every 20 niches to give you short but powerful tips that will help you get the most out of these niches and get more sales in general. And to kick it off today, the first niche is cornhole. This is a funny sport that people play in America in their gardens. They throw bean bags at wooden planks with holes in them. I've sold quite a few t-shirts in this niche myself. It's definitely a fun one to design for and it sells very well during summer. Number two would be bonsai trees, and this is a bit of a sub-niche of gardening. What I'd probably suggest here is trying some of these proven designs that sell with different phrases attached to them that are unique and that aren't out there yet. Moving on, we've got alpacas. While scrolling through this niche, you'll notice that there's a lot of vintage sunset designs that sell, but also think of different ideas to cross niche, like this person, for example, with the American flag theme. Numero quattro is pontoon. This is a type of boat. It's an extremely popular niche, especially during summer, as you can see by the low BSRs, and people typically like to drink and party on these boats. Try and find cross niches and sub niches for this one, and I'm sure you can pick up some sales. Niche number five I've got for you is gender reveal. And while you might think a lot of the niches I'm sharing with you are already saturated, looking into this further, you will notice that a lot of shirts that are selling have been posted very recently. And that just proves the point that you can still enter a lot of these niches with new designs and make some sales. Next up, we've got drumming. This is a very fun music niche. I really like what this person's done. They've cross-niched drumming with July the 4th, but there's also plenty of other design styles that sell. Lucky number seven is gambling. In this case, you need to think of sub-niches, such as different types of gambling. For example, there's poker, slot machines, blackjack, and much more. Moving on from that, we've got autism awareness, and this niche has a lot of potential because the percentage of people born with autism has been rising a lot every single year, and it shows because it's not even autism awareness month. However, a lot of these t-shirts are selling really well with very low BSRs. Niche number nine is web developer. And what you have to think about here is there's lots of different types of developers or programmers, such as software developer, app developer, game developer. Basically, there's plenty of sub-niche opportunity in these sort of coding designs. Number 10 is mountain biking, a sub-niche of cycling. One thing I noticed while scrolling through this niche is that most of these designs are on black t-shirts, so maybe try and make some dark designs to put on white or just lighter t-shirts. Next up, we've got the niche of beards, and this is obviously targeted at men, so we'll see these t-shirts doing very well during Father's Day, and I noticed a cross-niching opportunity here because a lot of designs say awesome dads have beards and tattoos, so you could replace the word tattoos with lots of different things, for example, motorbikes, and that way you're cross-niching and targeting different types of men. Number 12 is electric cars. This is a niche that I have quite a few sales in myself and what you should learn from this niche is sometimes you have to be aware of new technology trends because there'll be passionate people that join these trends early and want to represent their passion on the clothing that they wear. Girls Trips is the next niche I've got for you and this one has endless sub-niche opportunities in terms of different places like beaches, you can add the year, also different cities or countries would work and what's very interesting about this niche is people often want to wear matching outfits in groups for these girls trips which means they'll order multiple t-shirts in one go. 
Number 14 is bourbon, a type of alcohol that some people are very passionate about and I would definitely try and design something funny for this niche because those sort of t-shirts seem to sell the best but as you can see right here this example also has some cross niche going on and it has a low BSR. Moving on, we've got gaming. This is obviously a very competitive niche. However, you shouldn't ignore niches like this because if you can find some sub niches and cross niche ideas, then there's definitely potential to make a lot of sales here. I myself haven't had much luck on Amazon with gaming. However, on other marketplaces, I've made quite a bit of money off this niche. So I definitely wanted to recommend it to you. Niche number 16 is veterans. This is a very patriotic niche. So you're going to want to use American flags in your designs. And an easy way to do that is by using all American graphics. I will leave a link down below in the description to them. They are a very cool service and they have lots of American flag designs to make your life easier. And somewhat related to that, the next niche is guns. So at the moment, we're actually seeing a lot of Top Gun designs, which is just because the movie just came out, you don't want to sell any of those. What you want to do is cater to pro-gun and anti-gun people, because some people are very passionate about guns and like collecting them, whereas other people, as you can see here, are sick of gun violence and they buy t-shirts that are anti-guns. The next niche is vegans, and this is a very big niche. However, I think if you cross niche with different hobbies or jobs and interests, you can definitely pick up some sales here. And another thing that's important to note is more and more people go vegan all the time. So the potential to get sales is also growing by the day. Niche number 19 is beekeeping. It's a bit of a niche hobby, but as we can see, there's a lot of interest in it because a lot of these t-shirts are selling very well. And it's definitely a fun one to make designs for. I know because I've created some myself, definitely potential in this niche. Niche number 20 is firefighters. There seems to be a lot of designs here with American flags in them. However, they all look very similar. So maybe try doing a different design style like vintage sunsets, for example, and then you might stand out in these search results. So we've come to the first intermission and this one is going to be about sub niches. So let's say, for example, we've got the overarching niche of gaming. Now, what you don't want to do is target every single gamer out there when you're creating your designs. What's going to be a lot more effective Effective is entering sub niches such as girl gamer, virtual reality gaming, or PC gaming, just to name a few examples. That way, you have way less competition and a more targeted audience group, which really increases the likelihood of you getting sales. And let's move on to the next set of 20 niches. There's some really good ones in this lot that you don't want to miss, so let's carry on. Niche number 21 is LGBTQ. This is a very fun one because it's very colorful, typically in the designs, and it's a topic that is very popular in today's society, so it's definitely a niche with a lot of potential. Number 22 are raccoons. There's a lot of t-shirts with good BSRs here. Definitely don't sell any Marvel related stuff. You will get your merch account shut down. And one design that I thought was quite cool is this one right here with the sunglasses. Definitely pops very well on the black and white raccoon illustration. Niche number 23 is skateboarding. I really like what this person's done using the word dad and putting the skateboard illustrations in there. And it's also been posted very recently and it's selling extremely well, showing you once again, there is a lot of potential still getting sales with new designs. Next up, we've got spare fishing, a niche with very little results apparently. And there isn't as many t-shirts with low BSRs in here, but still worth giving a shot. Also, a lot of the thumbnails are black t-shirts. So do try uploading some other colors maybe to stand out in search results. Number 25 is a big niche of soccer. While it's big, once again, finding sub and cross niches can help you here. And there's so many people passionate about soccer. So there's definitely potential to get a lot of sales. Number 26 is insects. The first row doesn't even show any t-shirts for some reason, but if we scroll down, we can see there's quite a lot of low BSRs here. Obviously there is tons of different types of insects, so plenty of sub niche opportunity. Next up, we've got triathlon. This is where people do the swimming, cycling, and then a lot of running as well. Definitely something that I wouldn't be able to do. But yeah, one design that stood out to me is this one right here. It's very simple, but looks really cool. And it's selling very well on a hoodie, which is something that you don't see too often. Number 28 is introverts. There's a lot of people who are introverted and it definitely shows in the low BSR ranks. There's a lot of text-based designs. So I would recommend trying out some unique ideas with graphics to stand out and get some more sales. 
Next up we've got Kindergarten. This is a big niche, but there's a lot of parents that love getting their children gifts. And one way to approach this would be cross-niching with things like dinosaurs or gaming, or just other topics in general that children are passionate about. Niche number 30 is pizza, definitely something that a lot of people love, me included. Just ignore the Stranger Things and Disney apparel, you don't want to copy that. But there's definitely creative ways to go about designing for this. I love what this person has done, they've replaced the word dad with pizza slices and probably just did very well for Father's Day. One thing that definitely goes very well with pizza is beer, and this is a massive niche, however cross-niching this with other topics and hobbies is definitely one way to stand out here, don't copy all these branded t-shirts. Niche number 32 is kayaking, definitely a fun sport, I've done it myself before, this is a niche that's going to sell very well during summer, however it's still evergreen and has potential to sell all year around. Number 33 is Volleyball, another very popular sport during summer, especially at the beach. Next up is Chemistry, and I really like this design right here where one of them says I think you're overreacting, and if you can come up with a pun like that and be the first one out there, you could definitely make a lot of sales. Niche number 35 is Hamsters, a very cute pet that a lot of people keep at home, and whatever you do, don't do what this person has done in copying the Jaws movie poster, because it's definitely a very risky strategy that could get your account closed. Number 36 is Hiking. I love creating designs for this niche, just because mountains and forests and stuff like that just looks amazing on t-shirts for some reason. It's also very good for wrapping text around it like this person's done right here, so yeah, definitely a fun one and a lot of people are passionate about hiking. Police is the next niche I've got for you, and a common theme that I see among t-shirts that sell well in this niche is the black, white and blue colour scheme, so do try and incorporate that in some of your designs. So instead of suggesting the big niche of dogs with you, I wanted to show you an example of a sub-niche. This one is Poodles. I love this one right here, looks very cool and the colour scheme is very nice. But yeah, lots of variety and different ways to approach this one. Moving on from that, we've got Geology. This is a topic that I never thought a lot of people would be interested in, but I'm proven wrong by the BSR ranks of some of these t-shirts. It's all about rocks apparently and studying rocks, so uh, do do some research on this niche and try and come up with some unique ideas. Next up is guitars, another musical instrument that a lot of people play. There's a lot of retro vintage style designs that sell very well and combining this niche with things like dad for Father's Day is definitely one good way to go about creating designs. So the next topic I wanted to talk to you about is cross niching. On the screen right now you'll see different examples of t-shirt designs that have done a very good job of crossing a niche with either a trending topic, a popular holiday or a common passion or interest of people. And if you manage to use this strategy and apply it to the niches that you're entering, you'll definitely be more successful and get more sales with the your print on demand business. To name a few topics that you could be cross niching with, we've got things like coffee, beer or being vegan, you could use American flags or just countries flags in your design in general, there's different ages you could target or retired people and then common public holidays like Father's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, Easter or Halloween. And this is just to give you some inspiration, the list is obviously a lot longer, but this should be enough to get you started with your cross-niching designs. Niche number 40 is disc golf, and I actually can't wait to enter this niche myself because it's got very low results and a lot of these t-shirts are selling extremely well. And during my research process I actually found a lot more niches like this and I can't wait to share them with you. Number 42 is Ragdoll. This is a sub-niche of cats and just ignore these results, they're all IP infringement and here we've got some normal designs. Ragdolls are very loving cats, I know one myself and they have a lot of passionate owners. Next up is Vaporwave. This is quite a big niche but it sells very well and it's a bit of an art style or design style that's a bit hard to create yourself but there's a lot of pre-made graphics on websites like Vexels for example that you could use in your own designs and modify them to sell them yourself. Niche number 44 is Christianity and you could have a look into different religions just in general but I wanted to recommend this one because you also see it a lot in sort of cross niche shirts where someone is shown you know passionate about a certain hobby and also believing in Christ so there's an idea and a way to approach this one. 
Number 45 is golfing, with some insanely low BSRs right now for all these Father's Day designs, but while you're doing your research at a different time of the year, there might be a lot of different types of designs selling, but I also quite like this one, which is quite suitable for July the 4th. Moving on from that, we've got politics, and this is one of these topics that a lot of people love to represent their opinions with on their clothing. However, I would recommend you stay away from things that are pro-Trump on Merch by Amazon, and also anti-Biden stuff is often t-shirts that, that get removed. So if you want to go into those sorts of niches, do stick to the marketplaces. However, there's still other politics sub-niches that you could enter and safely sell on Merch by Amazon. The 47th niche I've got for you today is archery. This is not really a mainstream sport, but it still has plenty of t-shirts in this niche that are selling pretty well, so I'll definitely want to consider to get some nice evergreen designs out there. Niche number 48 today is wine, and this is another alcoholic drink that's extremely popular, especially among women. This one is a bigger niche and more competitive, but I'm pretty sure if you can think outside the box, you've got a lot of potential to get sales here. Niche number 49 is Custodian, there's some funny text designs in this one that sell, but you can also use graphics like this one, Custodian of Duty for example, looks quite nice. Halfway there with number 50 we've got Baseball, another very big sports niche. Uh, what you always see selling very well in these niches is Baseball Dad or Baseball Mum, but there's plenty of different other ways that you could approach this niche. Next up we've got Teacher, this is a very big niche with lots of designs already out there, but if you can come up with a unique one, I'm sure you can pick up a lot of sales in this. Number 52 is Farming, and just a quick word of wisdom, I've seen this design style selling in a lot of different niches today, and I'm pretty sure there will still be many niches that don't have this design style in it, so if you can be the first to create the design for other niches where it's still new, then there's a lot of potential to get a best seller. The 53rd niche on my list for you are zodiac signs. There's 12 signs out there, so you could either create t-shirts for each sign on their own, or you could combine them somehow, so this is a niche that you shouldn't overlook. Next up we've got running, and I don't really have a lot to say about this niche. I've got a few designs in this as well myself. I'm definitely not raking it in with this one, but that doesn't mean that you can't. Wouldn't we all like to be on a cruise right now, except for if you get seasick, I guess, but this one, similarly to the girls trip niche, has a lot of cross-niching or sub-niching opportunity where you can put in different places or years or countries. Niche number 56 is sloth, and this is definitely a very funny animal because it's so lazy, so do approach this with a bit of sense of humour if you are going to enter this niche. Moving on we've got Sphinx, and this is another sub niche of cats that I thought I'd try and point out because it's got very low results and quite a few t-shirts that are selling decently, so definitely want to try and check out and maybe come up with some new design ideas for this. Niche number 58 is UFO. This is closely related to aliens, as you can see they feature in a lot of these shirts, and I actually really want to design some of my own shirts for this niche looking at it, because it just seems really fun. I mean, some of these t-shirts do look really cool with <laughs> sucking up different things into the UFO, so do give this one a try. A lot of low BSRs in this one. I'm not sure how strawberry milkshakes become its own niche, but apparently it has <laughs> so many designs with this theme, lots of different animals drinking the strawberry milkshake, and you have to be quite skilled at graphic design, I guess, to create these yourself, but again, uh, places like Vexel's Creative Fabrica probably do have a lot of preset graphics as well. And moving on, another niche that I have actually been wanting to enter for a while is Golden Doodle. This is another dog breed and it must be very well loved because so many t-shirts have got a BSR with 100,000 in it. So if you love dogs and you're looking for a dog niche to enter, then I'd say give this one a try. It's time for intermission three and if you haven't noticed it, I'm wearing a different t-shirt because this video is literally taking me three days to create for you. And if you feel like I've helped you in any way so far, please do me a favor and return and leave a like on this video. So tip number three I've got for you today is going to be about trademark checks. So there's a free browser extension called Merch by Amazon Trademark Protection, which I recommend you use while you're looking through these niches for design ideas. If you see a phrase on a shirt that you really like and you want to create your own design for it, then use this tool to quickly check for potential trademarks within the phrase so that you know whether to use it or not. The link to this tool will be in the description down below. Make sure to use it to save a lot of time and obviously to keep your Merch by Amazon account safe. Niche number 61 is Plumber. This is one with not too many results and quite a few low BSRs, so I would definitely try and have a further look into this one. 
Next up we've got tacos and this niche is definitely making me hungry right now. There seems to be a lot of funny designs that sell for this one so do have a look at that type of style. The 63rd niche I've got for you today is bowling. It's not too big of a niche and there is quite a few shirts that are selling. I might try and enter this myself, it looks very fun. I specifically like this t-shirt right here on the left hand side. Moving on from that, we've got baking, another very popular hobby. If you're thinking of sub niches, there's lots of different types of things you can bake. And one design that I thought is extremely funny is this one right here, which is also scalable because you could put any other hobby at the top here. Number 65, we've got gym or just working out, bodybuilding, that sort of thing. Definitely don't put just do it on your t-shirts. That's just asking for a suspension. I do like this gym wrap design though. And as you can see, there's lots of different styles that sell for this niche. Niche number 66 is martial arts and Amazon will probably execute order 66 on your account if you rip off the Star Wars logo, so definitely don't do that. But jokes aside, this is still a good niche. There's different types of martial arts that you can sub-niche into and come up with some creative designs for. Next up we've got National Parks. This has got a lot of results, but as you can see here, there's also 62 National Parks in the US. So uh, lots of different designs you can come up with there. Just make sure to check the trademarks because I think some of the National Parks do have trademarked names. Number 68 is Panda, a very cute animal and I love these sort of pocket style designs. They just look really cool and realistic. Lots of low BSRs in this niche and lots of very cartoony illustrations. Moving on, we've got the niche of physics, and I sometimes wish that I could create t-shirts like this. They look very cool, and they also exist for math and chemistry, that sort of stuff. But yeah, anyway, if you've got some funny physics jokes, definitely try and put them on some t-shirts. Niche number 70 I've got for you is motorbikes. While we often think of a group of men when we think of bikers, there is also t-shirts that sell really well, which are aimed at women, so definitely a sub-niche that you shouldn't ignore. Number 71 is barbecue. And don't you just think that texture looks so realistic? Very cool, definitely. Once again, a lot of these shirts have only been posted about half a year ago, so there's definitely still a potential here with new uploads. Next up, we've got parenting, and there's lots of different variations of shirts you can design here, such as different amounts of kids, soon to be dad. There's a pizza design from earlier. Here we've got one that says, you can't scare me, I have four daughters and a wife. So as you can see, lots of opportunities there to create unique designs. Retirement is the next niche on my list and here you have to think that often people will get these as retirement gifts for their parents and oftentimes you can also cross niche with different jobs that obviously people used to do before they were retired. Niche number 74 is Raymon. This is a food niche that can get really really good sales as you can see by these BSRs and often you also just see animals eating the Raymon or even sitting in the bowl of noodles. Number 75 is Engineer and there is not a lot of mind-blowing BSRs in this niche. However, it's definitely one of those evergreen ones that will generate sales all year around. Next up is Rescue Dogs, a bit of a unique approach to the dog niche. One sentence that seems to be doing quite well in this niche is Rescued is my favourite breed. The 77th niche I've got for you is pregnancy. One style that definitely works very well for this niche is the baby feet and then either a light blue or a pink color scheme to indicate the gender of the baby. Moving on, we've got the niche of chickens and there's a lot of t-shirts in this one which do sell quite well. One that I wanted to point out, which I quite like, is this one right here which says Mama Hen, where the silhouette of the chicken has a pattern overlay on it, which is a nice alternative to the typical cartoon illustrations. Niche number 79 is horses and one shirt that stood out to me here was the I like horses and dogs one which is cross niching two different animals which is quite an interesting idea. Niche number 80 is equality and I had to mention this one because obviously about two years ago we had a massive trend where Black Lives Matter was the top selling t-shirt niche for literally a year and that was all about equality and I'm pretty sure the topic will be in the news again and again so definitely a niche that you want to be aware of. So this next tip is going to be about uploading your designs to other marketplaces besides Merch by Amazon and if you're just starting out with print on demand I can recommend websites like Teepublic, Redbubble, 
or Spreadshirt. The reason being, they're very easy to upload to and the potential for sales is very good in them. If you're already further along your journey and you've got hundreds, if not thousands of designs made already, I would highly recommend looking up and investing in upload automation. The reason being, you'll get access to up to 15 different print on demand marketplaces. The tools will save you thousands of hours uploading your designs manually and they're an easy way to increase your monthly income. There'll be a link in the description to Flying Upload, which I've been using for the past two years. You can try out their software for free, but there's also other options like Merch Titans Automation or Lazy Merch, for example. Let's move on to the last 20 niches. I found some really good ones for this section, so make sure to watch till the end. Niche number 81 is Canada, and there is millions of Canadians living in the US, and a lot of these are selling extremely well at the moment because I believe it is Canada Day soon. Number 82 is whiskey, another alcohol niche, and I do really like this design right here where someone's cross-niched whiskey with LGBTQ. Next up we've got bacon, and this niche is definitely filled with a lot of hilarious t-shirts, so if you want to enter this niche, definitely approach it from a funny and creative angle. The 84th niche on my list for you is fishing. It's a bit of a bigger niche, so you're going to want to niche down for this one. Moving on from that, we've got nurses, and I just had a quick look. There's 4 million registered nurses in the US, and one thing I'd recommend trying is designing some boho or leopard print rainbows to go along with your nursing designs. Number 86 is anti-bullying. I really like this vintage style design. The font looks very cool as well. And one thing you definitely see a lot in this niche are orange t-shirts. Next up we've got anime, another very popular topic that a lot of people are passionate about. The designs are a bit more difficult to come up with, but I would recommend using a service like Vexels in this case. Niche number 88 is US states. I searched for California here because US states just shows a lot of American flags. Obviously there's tons of different American states that you could target as well as specific cities. So I'll just do some research and find some good sub niches. Moving on, we've got the niche of sharks. This is quite a big one, but one thing that seems to definitely work in this is targeting different family members or children. Niche number 90 is motorboating. I've sold a few t-shirts myself in this niche, and I'm actually quite surprised that these very basic t-shirt designs here are doing so well, but uh, maybe this person is running ads to them, you never know. Number 91 is cryptocurrency, a topic that's definitely become very popular over the past few years and the designs that are selling in this niche are all very different so there must be a lot of different angles that you could approach this niche from. Number 92 is pineapple, this is a cool little summer niche, there is tons of pineapples wearing sunglasses but also some funny designs sprinkled in here. Next up we've got kawaii, this is a niche that's often crossed with anime but it's basically just making things look very cute, you often see it with animals but also food, drinks and other stuff. Moving on we've got the saxophone, a very cool music instrument, there's lots of t-shirts with different animals or people just playing the saxophone, uh, the Bigfoot one's quite funny, but one thing I also noticed is the entire first page only has designs showing on a black t-shirt so do try out other colours as well. Niche number 95 I've got for you is space, and one thing that I've seen a lot of this niche that I definitely shouldn't do is using the NASA logo in your t-shirt designs. Not a good idea, would probably get you banned. Niche number 96 is diving, and one common theme along these t-shirts is this red flag with the white sort of stripe across it, and the reason for that is that's the flag that divers use to alert boats from basically crushing into them. Next up we've got Lawyer, another job related niche and one thing you can think about here when you're trying to think of sub niches is people who are training to become a lawyer, like this t-shirt for example, Lawyer in Progress, please wait. Number 98 is gardening, quite a big niche but I feel like most old people that I know do really love gardening so you have got a massive target audience here and do think of that target audience while you're making your designs, think what those sort of people would want to like to wear while they're out in the garden, often chatting to strangers passing or people that they know in the village. Niche number 99 is coffee, and this is quite a big niche once again. However, if you do come up with some good ideas to combine this niche with hobbies or different jobs, you can definitely make some good sales right here. 
And number 100, we have got housekeeping or cleaning. This is a very fun niche. It's not the biggest, which is quite good. And there is quite a few t-shirts selling. I've got a few designs in this niche myself. And funnily enough, sometimes they sell in bigger bunches. Maybe there's some cleaning staff out there who just want to order their matching t-shirts on Amazon, I don't know, or other marketplaces. But definitely a fun one to try out. And number 101, the last niche I've got for you today is banana. A bit of a funny one, but it's crazy to see this shirt, for example, which is just a bit of text on a, on a yellow t-shirt and it's selling extremely well. And I thought this one as well with the duck right here is hilarious. Maybe you could cross niche banana with other animals as well and make sales that way. I don't know, just an idea right there. If you've made it this far in the video, leave a comment down below that says banana. That way I know who's made it to the end. And to make sure you get as many sales as possible with these niches, make sure to watch this video next where I help you choose the right keywords and also show you how to write a successful listing.